Hey guys, so today I am doing an art haul for you lot. Um, over the last couple of weeks I have been splashing that cash on some new art uh, materials and I thought, why not show you? Uh, I've never done an art haul before so wish me luck and sorry if it's rubbish um, and if I waffle but what can you do? So um, first off is this pack of watercolour paper. This is Bockingford 300 GSM paper so it's really lively and thick. Uh, I got quite a large pack of it from Jackson's. Um, I just wanted to have a lot of it at my disposal for when I just fancy doing some watercolour paper. Um, I haven't had a chance to use it properly yet, only just to sort of make the odd birthday card or whatnot. So I will definitely put it through its paces and when I do I will report back to you guys and obviously include a video. So can't wait to use that. Um, secondly on the list are these new brushes. So uh, these two monsters are oil colour, oil paint brushes. I'm not much of an oil painter but over the last couple of weeks I have had this urge to do some oil painting for some reason, I don't know why. So I decided to add to my collection with a, um, another two flat, br flat filbert brushes. So um, I decided to go for these ones just because they were cheap, they are Jackson's own brand and my initial um, my first impression of them is I like them, they look good. The bristles are quite springy and strong and soft and I like the length of them, I think that'll be really good so yeah, we'll see how I get on with it. The other five I have actually used and they are these, I don't know if you can see, come on, they are these watercolour brushes. So these three are De La and Rowney Aquafine brushes. Uh, I bought these from my local art store when I was passing by. It was part way through Inktober and I thought I could do with some new sharper ones for line work. I don't know how long they're gonna be usable for line work. They're already starting to sort of lose their point to them. Uh, but I know they will be fine for carrying on with watercolour and just filling in illustrations. The other two are again Jackson's own brand. Um, I just wanted some thicker brushes for applying more watercolour and ink at one time. So I got the, what size is it? Size 10 here, which is like a really um, thick brush. And then I got the size six, which is still quite a broad brush, one of the broadest I have. They work really well. I was using them throughout Inktober and when they are wet, they have a really nice shape to them, really great point and hold lots of watercolour. So I think I'll definitely invest in these again. Um, they're not actually that expensive, they are a synthetic brush, uh, so which makes them a lot cheaper. And I think that, personally, that they are better than these ones. So, yeah. Next on my list is, are these um, acrylic inks. So, I've always had a black on me, and this particular brand I've had for a couple of years, uh, so yeah, it's the Dela and Rowney FW ink and um, I haven't really used it properly until Inktober and then when I whipped it out and started using it I soon realised that this has to probably be my favourite brand of ink, at least black anyway. Um, it's a little thicker in consistency than normal Indian ink um, so when you're diluting it, it does sort of take quite a lot of water to actually bring the colour down. But um, if you're applying it thickly to paper, it doesn't buckle it too much and it dries really dense and flat. So that's really a uh, the factor for me that makes it the best. Um, and then part way through Inktober, I sort of was enjoying using ink so much that I s decided that I would um, add to my collection of colours for illustration with more um, with some colours. So I bought um, the three primary colours. I didn't buy the brown primary colours um, just because my initial um, thoughts to them online were that they looked a little bit too light for my liking. So I went onto a YouTuber's channel. Uh, I don't know who it is, but I will link him in, or them in the channel below, in the description below. And they all they do is just swatches of 
different brands of inks. So I looked at all of the blues and the yellows and the reds and decided which ones I wanted to get. So I bought the process yellow because that seemed brightest or bright enough for me. And then I bought the, oh, I did buy the process magenta. I thought I bought a crimson. This is the process magenta. It was really the blue. The cyan um, online just looked to be too light. Um, so instead I went for the Prussian blue which seemed like a lot denser and deeper colour. So I haven't really used them properly, um, but I am looking forward to using those. Next on my list are these Micron pens. These have become a staple for me. Um, I used to use the Faber and Castell pens um, religiously, um, but I've soon found that these this brand has a wider variety of sizes which is something I quite like. Um, they have sizes that are a lot finer than the Fable Castell ones and sizes that are a lot thicker. So for that reason I kind of side with these now. I also found that they are very easily accessible in most art stores, like from anywhere from the art store down the road from me to an art store in Amsterdam. I was actually able to pick up a couple of these whilst travelling around Europe. So, And they seem to be fairly inexpensive wherever you go and they are waterproof, which is the main thing. The next thing on my list is this Tombow Art um, Tombow lettering set for beginners. I went into the local art store a couple of days ago um, with the intention of buying the broad brush pen um, and then as I was looking through the various items that they had there I found another thinner harder brush pen and was going to buy them and then I saw this and thought well I might as well just get the whole pack. I would be lying if I said that I hadn't already opened up this pack and used it but for the purpose of this art haul I thought I would keep it in here. And last but probably the thing I am most excited about is this new Stillman and Burns sketchbook. Um, so I'd seen on a couple of YouTubers channels that they were using these um, so I went on and watched a couple of different reviews of the various sketchbook series that they have and decided to go for the Zeta series. This is an ultra smooth paper that is also really thick, it's about 270 GSM which is pretty heavy duty for a sketchbook. First impressions are great, I love the soft cover, I decided to go for a soft cover like my, Stillman, uh, like my Strathmore uh, sketchbook but unlike that, the cover is a little bit more dense and springy, so hopefully it will hold up a bit better. And the main thing is, it folds open flat. So that for me was kind of like the really main selling point. It was one of the things that really annoyed me about the Strathmore was how you couldn't open it up flat without it just wanting to close the whole time. So that is this art haul over. Um, I really don't know how I did. I feel like I waffled and it was just a bit disorientated, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe for more, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.